So to find the unit vector, um, what we're going to be looking at is the first thing we want to do is write this down in component form. All right. So remember, whenever you have a vector written as a linear combination, we can rewrite it as component form by saying w equals 1 comma negative 2. All right, just take your coefficients of your i and your j, and you can write it as your component form. Then we need to talk about what is the unit, what is the unit vector in that direction. Because remember, this points, if you guys are going to graph this, 1, negative 2. Right? That's that vector. Go over 1, down negative 2. Now, since you went down negative 2, does the, is the magnitude of that vector 1? No, right? So what we need to do is we need to find the unit vector that's going to still have the same direction of this, but then have a magnitude of 1. So to do that, we say unit vector is going to equal our vector, our vector w over the magnitude of w. And that is your definition of your unit vector. So now what we're going to do is find the magnitude of w. The magnitude of w equals the square root of w1 squared plus w2 squared. So this is going to be w1, and this will be w2. So that equals the square root of 1 squared plus negative 2 squared. Well, negative 2 squared is 4. 1 squared is 1. So you're going to have the square root of 5. All right? So then we just replace w as our coordinate point, 1 comma negative 2 divided by the square root of 5. Then you just distribute, divide that by both terms by there. So therefore, you have 1 over the square root of 5 comma negative 2 over the square root of 5. And we'll leave our answers with our radical on the bottom of Kenzie. So you have that. And that's going to be your now unit vector. Okay, you could obviously you know, look at rational answers, just keep it like that. Oh. Oh. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Good job.